Now, most of you will have seen drones flying above the, the skies of Afghanistan and Iraq. This is uh, a predator drone that is flying above Afghanistan and Iraq. This is not an autonomous weapon. There's still a human. There's a soldier back in a container in Nevada who is flying this thing and is making that decision to fire its rather aptly named Hellfire missile. Uh, making that final life or death decision as to whether to take someone out on the ground. But it's a very small engineering leap to go from that, that remotely controlled drone, to something that would be completely autonomous. To take the human out of the loop, to have a computer fly that plane and make that final life or death decision as to whether to fire its missile. Now, that's not something that actually is technically very near. If you believe the UK's Ministry of Defense, they believe it's technically possible today. And I, certainly as an expert in the area, know that that, that is a, a worst or best a few years away. That's the sort of technology that I want to focus on tonight. That's the sort of technology that I think we should be worried about.